Hello and this is MyCADSite.com and this tutorial is going to show you about making revolved objects and basically these are going to be objects that can be spun around a center point if you will. So as you can see I've got a very standard object and this is just a glass and what I've done I've just got this image and I copied and pasted it in just a standard copy and paste into my AutoCAD drawing and then I traced around it just tracing this profile and I'm not going to show you that because it's lines and arcs and really you shouldn't need to be watching that at this level if not go back to level one but this is 3D AutoCAD so I've traced around it and I've got all these lines and arcs and now I'm ready to start working with my design. So I'm going to zoom out just a little, pan over, and then I'm just going to move these over. Now since I traced it, I wasn't too worried about the scale at this point. You can either scale the image up and then trace it or what I like to do is trace it and then I'll scale my image or sorry my drawing up to be full size that way I've always got it clearer for tracing so now that's done I'm just going to erase this I don't need it anymore and just zoom in on my profile so if you're going to revolve something to get a solid and that's what I'm trying to do I can't do it with just a bunch of lines and arcs. So what I need to do is go into Polyline Edit, PE, and select a line. Do I want to turn it in? Yes. And then join. Now for joining, I want to select everything that's in my profile. And then I want to close it to make sure it's closed and therefore a proper closed polyline ready to be revolved. So there I go. Now I'm uh, ready to revolve it. So I just type in REV for revolve. Select my object. Hit the space bar. And now at once, if you're looking at the command line where you generally should be looking, I just need to define the axis, which will be the center of this. So I'm just going to pick, click here, click here, and it's like, okay, great. Cannot revolve itself, intersecting curve, unable. And when you're learning, and I did this on purpose just to show you that error messages can be frustrating. And what it's telling me is I don't have a nice, clean, smooth polyline. And I'll just show you what I did here. And somewhere in here, there is a problem. And you can see, just by highlighting it, I can see that there's a whole group of things here. So I'm going to zoom in really tight. And there's my problem. So now I'm just going to have to explode my polyline. So I'm just going to go and explode. Select my objects. Press Enter. And now everything is individual objects. So now I can erase everything that's in there. I don't just select the arc. I select everything in case there's any other small arcs. And now what I can do is I can just use my grip editing to put that up there. Know that everything's good to go now. So there's my profile back again. Now I just go back into P-Edit. Turn into a polyline, join, and select everything rather than select them individually. Make sure I catch them all because there's very small arcs here in the ends. And you'll see that now it's open as an option, which means it is now a closed polyline. So now it's ready to be revolved. So once again, REV, select my polyline, and now I draw my axis point, which is the center point of which everything will be revolved around. And now it's like, ooh, what's this? Okay, this is crazy. And once again, got to check my command line. Angle of revolution, 360 degrees. I just press enter. And there we go. So now I'm going to go to my southwest view. And if I do a hide command, you'll see that it's tilted over. 
And what I want to do is I'm going to regen this. And now I want to rotate 3D. So I'm going to select my objects. And I'm just going to pick, uh, you'll see my, it's kind of tricky when you get into 3D. But there's my center point. And I'm just going to go out using uh, polar tracking. And now I've defined my axis to rotate. And then my angle 90 degrees. And there, now it's standing up with the top of the glass aligned towards the top. So there's my top. There's my front views. And everything's looking as it should. Now if I do a hide, there we go, it looks good. So that was Revolve, and really all you need is a closed polyline shape or a region or something that isn't obviously self-intersecting, and away you go. So now what I'm going to do is show you how the RevSurf command is used. And for that, what I'm going to do is just put a little umbrella in, a little paper umbrella in my glass. So for that, I'm just going to go back to my top view so I can draw everything out. And all I need to do is just draw a line. And there's my outline of my paper umbrella. And now I'm going to draw a very small rectangle. And that's going to be the stick that holds up the rectangle. I'm just going to zoom in here really close and get it nice and small. So first of all, I'm just going to do the stick, and I'm just going to revolve that. Since a stick is a solid object, that's when I use my revolve command. Define my axis by picking two points. Press enter for 360 degrees. Now my surface... In other words, my, for my RevSurf command, that's going to work a little bit differently. And this is just a single line. That's all it needs to be. But now it's asking for the select object that defines axis of revolution. Okay, so I don't really have one, but I can try picking this, see what it does. And it says, oh, object not usable. So what I do is escape out of that. And I'm just going to draw a line from my center point straight up. So that will define my axis of revolution. And I'm even going to extend my line up to that so that my umbrella will be closed around it. So now I go back to RevSurf. Select my object. Press Enter. And, of course, I forgot the valuable step. And this is where I'm just doing this just to show you that watching the command line is what it's all about. So, back into RevSurf. Select the object to be revolved. Select the object. Start angle will be zero. And it'll go 365 degrees. And there's my umbrella on my stick. So now, once again, we'll just go to the top view, side view, and there's my southwest view. And if I do a hide, just once again, it's good to get your orientation. There we go. So now I just do a rotate 3D and select my objects, and I'm just going to pick two points. And 90 degrees once again. And if I just put this in my drink, it's going to look kind of weird. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to do a different rotate angle. So here are my objects again. My axis. And I'm just going to go 45 degrees this time. And so now what I can do is, once again, I'll just look at my front, see how everything's looking. And I'm going to move these two objects, use this center point, 
and that center point. And there's my line. I don't need that anymore. And my stick was a little long. That's okay. It's just an exercise. But now I have my glass, my stick, and my little tiny umbrella for the drink. And that's where you would use the two. My solid for my revolve command. Surfaces are good for the rev surf command. Now I can't, and what this has done is created a mesh. Now if I redraw this and zoom in, what you'll see is I've got a mesh, but it's not like a true mesh where you can pull individual points off. It's just based upon the one line. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, I tried to show some of the things that could go wrong and uh, just keep trying, watch the command line, and most importantly, get used to working in three degrees. So this has been mycadsite.com. Thanks for watching.